more lunch breaks. It's a special time of the year for a lot of you guys in school, I'm sure. Special time. Special. Because it's finals, I think. I thought you were say like prom season. <laughs> no, no, that would be better. That's the other special. It's finals, right? You can only talk about it like with such like positivity because you're not, you're past that time now. You made it sound like it's a great time. You made it sound like it's Christmas. It's Pardon? that time of year. I kind of do miss it though. All right, I you're gonna get a final tomorrow. tomorrow. During that time, I was very stressed. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we're still stressed from finals. Even though we're not doing. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> Just thinking about it stresses me yeah. out. Who who's having finals or midterms right now? Oh, that's a lot of you. Oh, that you is are, a lot. Cool. I'm sorry. We all remember that time, mm -hmm. and I remember it being very stressful. Mm -hmm. But, like you said, there's something nice about being united in that stress. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that's what I liked. Yeah. Like that environment of, you know, everyone's like weird and like, uh, together. Too. Yeah. So you'll see someone laying on the couch like, me too, buddy. Yeah. Right. Me it's too. like <laughs> that feeling of when you have the same common enemy, <laughs> even if like we never got along, but we have the same enemy, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, we get each other. <laughs> you band together and share notes. Actually, the best is when you go into like the market at school and you buy a coffee and the cashier is also studying. Oh like, my god. With you here, need a coffee? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful stress. I feel like everyone has a different way of like dealing with stress because mm -hmm. you don't want to just let it sit. Was stress triggered by procrastination? Probably. <laughs> yes. I would say there's like a few people that are very good and they're, they're not stressed and it's usually because mm -hmm. they're prepared. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't like those people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're, I was very, they're smart. I was very envious of those people mm -hmm. because um, they, they just had their, their stuff together. And I would just look at them and I would not learn from them. I would just procrastinate. I know some people that like do everything early, but it's because they're so stressed early. Yeah. Yes. You know? oh. That was me. So let's talk about, let's talk about the different kinds of uh, stressed out people that that we noticed and what type you are well I, I procrastinated a lot in high school and college um yeah it's okay same here yeah. <laughs> i mean it got better it was like not as bad procrastination <laughs> later in college uh -huh. but, um i still did it and it's usually because there's more to juggle mm -hmm. later on which adds to more stress but i also another thing i that uh, made me stress ironically I, I get uh, white hairs when I stress. Mm. Yeah. Even in high school. Really? Are you just super chill here? Because I've never really? seen. Yeah. I don't see them right now. It's okay. We can be old together. No, you can yeah. be like you can be like rogue, you know, with the with the streak of white. It's okay, white hair is in right now. It so. is. It yeah. is. Gray hair. Especially the like single strand white hairs. <laughs> oh. So you're saying that it stressed you out that you yeah. saw them and then it stressed you out more? It made me more stressed to see white <laughs> and hairs. And then you got more. As a high schooler, it's like it's insecurity. Cycle. It's like, oh my god, pluck it, pluck it. You'll soon learn that at least it's not falling out. Right. Hmm. You know? Uh, what about you, Ashley? What kind of stressed person were you? I feel like in high school, I took the proactive measures to not get stressed out, and I was more prepared. In college, I got worse, and I would always study the night before. I feel like I'm not a very fun person to be around when I'm stressed out, because <laughs> I get pretty intense. I don't have as much patience for things or more tunnel vision when I'm stressed, like really, really stressed and I don't know how to deal, I usually cry. Like I think the, the last times I can remember crying is because I was stressed, not because I was sad or anything. I'm team procrastination. If it's hey. due later, you do it later. <laughs> do later, Whoa. do later. Wait, do is not spelled D-O? Oh, that's good. <laughs> but no, really, I think for me, I think I realized, I've been trying to fix it like mm. throughout college, throughout high school, and it just never worked out. I think just me, I just have to work within those like stressful time constraints mm -hmm. and it just helps me do the project. Yeah. You know, like if I have like 10 weeks to do it, I'll do it in that last week. Yeah, like, stress is the best motivator. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing you're a procrastinator. Uh, yeah, I think I was, but I procrastinated, but somehow things got done still. You know, we're actually the worst. Uh, I remember Wall Food Productions in the early days would, would release our, our shorts and stuff during finals and midterms Ooh, week. Was that uh, on purpose? Knowing <laughs> that students would Not find watch yeah. it. Well, or they would watch it. Well, they would because they're fascinating. fascinating. <laughs> yes, so we would release videos knowing that this is the time when students would be online the most because they weren't studying. And so we would feed into it. But that was based off our own tendencies. I remember 
especially in college, like when it's finals week, it's like everyone's finding a reason not to do their work. Mm -hmm. You know what else adds to a lot of stress? Just being an adult. <laughs> adulting? The word adulting is just a stressful word. Yeah. No, honestly, like everything about growing up sucks. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not everything. Come on, Wes. <laughs> okay, um, I hate all the stuff that is associated with being grown up. Let's just say that finals and midterms are the least of your worries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, because actually, that's a time that you know you have to be stressed. When you're like out of school, you don't know. You don't have that schedule. Like, hey, I'm gonna oh. have finals week. I'm gonna be stressed this time. Nope. Yeah. You don't know. It's gonna be <laughs> at the <laughs> worst time, <laughs> at the at the most unexpected moment. So there's a lot of things outside of school that actually contribute to that stress. Mm -hmm. I think with school, you fall back on the fact your your position in life is student. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you don't have anything else to worry about. Like you could have a job, but your main role is being a student. Mm -hmm. But once you're out of that, it's like you're everything. Mm -hmm. There's so much to do. <laughs> Sometimes it's stressful being a son, you know, like just in your family life. Oh yeah. How so? You know, just because you want to give back, you don't want to be like a dependent, and, and um, mm. it's stressful to kind of balance your priorities mm. in school sometimes and like mm. your priorities at home. I feel mm. like, you guys don't feel that? Well, I mean, I do, but then I also feel like there's another component to that and ah. that it's stressful being a friend. Because oh. especially when you're outside <laughs> of school, you don't have the whole like, we'll see each other X amount of times yeah. per week yeah. because we're in the same proximity together. So you have to make more of an effort to see your friends and sometimes they move away for jobs or their schedule doesn't match up with your schedule. And you have to be a son or daughter and you have your work life to balance too. Like, oh. So that's why it's easier to eliminate so stress just... by um, eliminating friends. <laughs> you know, One less thing who to needs worry friends? About. Taylor's approach <laughs> is uh, logical, I guess. He just cuts people out. INFJ. <laughs> Introvert for sure. <laughs> so, stress within like your responsibilities in the family, mm -hmm. responsibilities with friends. Yeah. I feel like you need to continue this kind of alliteration. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, family, friends, uh, freelancing. <laughs> oh. oh! Fingernails? Oh my god. Or do, I guess in a, like, side projects you have, like if you anything to feel, fulfill yourself. Mm -hmm. For me, I push that to the last thing because mm -hmm. yeah, there's so many other priorities to take care of, right? Mm -hmm. Work, school, mm -hmm. family, friends, and it's like, okay, me? Mm -hmm. Me is a big one. <laughs> Self-improvement. Like, Self-love, yeah. self-care. Yeah, that's, that's a huge, that's such a huge one. I feel oh like another God. F that's like super, super, super stressful, finances. Oh my gosh. That's kind of what I was, <laughs> yeah. That's that adulting thing, like figuring out your finances. Mm -hmm. And you can't just go out and have fun because you have rent to pay for, you have insurance, and mm -hmm. a bunch of different things on those rainy days because life knows when to get you <laughs> when you're poor. I sometimes like we tend to not look at it. <laughs> Maybe yeah. it won't be stressed if I don't know it's there yeah. or not there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if it's like golf, you know, the lower number the better. <laughs> I'm definitely like that. I tend to, I tend to run from things that I don't want to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, it's bad. But that's actually a good segue because one of the ways I cope with stress <laughs> is by running away. Is by, no, no, not by running away. Oh. By running. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You guys ever? I, I didn't. Yeah, no. It looks like I don't run. <laughs> but <laughs> stupid. Um, exercise is really good mm. at relieving stress. Yeah, it is. Do you guys ever do that? Do I, I exercise? Yeah. Oh, or I extra fries? Extra fries. No, mm -hmm. I don't. That I helps you sweat. I've been trying, I can't. I don't know, I think maybe for me, I don't feel those endorphins that you're supposed mm. to feel. Mm. So I don't get that um, satisfaction that mm. people talk about with exercising. It's also one of those things that comes with like routine. Like once you start getting the routine of exercising, yeah. like the first time is always like really mm -hmm. painful. And so, yeah. It's, you dread it, but like once it's a routine, like you feel the stress leave your body. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's also like a, it's a very like one to one thing. Like oh, I'm I'm exercising, I'm sweating, I'm I'm exerting energy. It's it's like you're doing work, right? Yeah. So it's like this feeling of getting stuff done, even if it's not, I'm not saying for my final, but I'm getting stuff done mm -hmm. physically. Feels like you're you're contributing, to, oh, you're, yeah. you're you're helping to further the progress. It's helping the me part. Yeah. Mm. To recap, if you're stressed, go out for a walk, 
Take like a run, maybe. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be super strenuous, you know. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to like you don't have to have a full-on workout. Some people do, some people don't. Listen to some music. Just get outside. Ooh, right? that's a good stress reliever. Yeah, and then um, maybe during that time, think about what you have to do, all that stuff. It's okay. Kind of list it out, and then talk to some friends. I think that's another method for me, like chunking. So mm -hmm. you take bigger tasks and take them to little tasks, right? And do them yeah. in those little little blocks. Then they don't seem as stressful because. Yeah. It's like you're doing 10 little items versus like, oh my god, I have a project. Yeah. Right? Actually, in college, I realized that I didn't take advantage of this, but there's a lot of free, like, counseling services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, it's part of your tuition, you know? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people use it. Oh, what? Yeah. Apparently, like, like more than you think, what I realized. Like, mental health services and mm -hmm. stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. It's very normal, too. Like, it should be normal. Yeah. It should be normalized. Yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> I just feel like there's a negative connotation with asking for help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like being to rely on someone else, but it's okay. Like you need it. Well, good luck on finals. <laughs> <laughs> I I almost want to say like I hope you. Should I say that it's, it was more worthwhile to watch this episode about stress or to have studied the uh, 12 minutes um, <laughs> instead? Which what's better? I feel like it's like. Well, hope you took something away from that. You're. You know, feeling a little bit better, and if you aren't, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now go back to studying. No, no, go back to studying. Yeah, what you, are you, you doing? have to catch up now because yeah. you watch this. Hopefully, you're not marathoning. Oh, no. No, go, no. go back to studying after this. Yeah. <laughs> you what, are these, what are these tabs up here? Close this one, mm -hmm. and then close that one. <laughs> what, is, what is that one? This one is research. You can keep that one. Or we just sit here and just have like words of encouragement that they can have playing in the background. Oh, I believe yeah, in you. Amazing. <laughs> Was it? Just Relax. do it! <laughs> oh, it's <see> tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we're, we're done distracting you. Sorry. <laughs> New lunch breaks every Thursday. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Don't fail. Oh. <laughs>